When you have it, say amen. amen. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, the daughter-in-law against her mother in law. You may be seated. I told you on Friday there was a word from the Lord for today. You don't want to miss it. I'd like to read that verse of scripture one more time. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. The mother against the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The message that God has given me for today is entitled The Fall of the Family. The Fall of the Family. It has already been prophesied that this will come to pass, that there will be division that will rise in the family. This book was written hundreds and hundreds of years ago, but it was talking about today, and we're living in that present time right now. But just like any prophecy, that have been prophesied, it does not have to be your family that falls. If I were you, I'd make sure it won't be my family. There may be some problems that arise, but we're going to make it. We're going to stand. We're not going to fall by the wayside. Now, there's always oppositions, and we know that, we understand that. But one of the key weapons that the devil understands is how important the family structure is. He understands how that if the family falls, then he understands that communities fall. If community fails or fall, then he understands cities fail, and state fails, and then nation fails. So, but it, it is the target of the family structure that he's after to create chaos and division. But before we get to the family, we have to look at what makes up the family in the beginning the husband and the wife. So then what he does is he has to create chaos, first of all, in the marriage between the husband and the wife because they are the core of the family. You cannot have children that help mix the family without the husband and the wife at first. So then like never before, there is a dissension between husband and wives. We got marriages, even right now, people before they're married a week, they're talking about divorce. Still wet behind the ears in marriage, hadn't been through nothing, but I'm getting a divorce and you just left walking the aisle last week. All because they've had some confusion or division or opposition or disagreement in their marriage so the devil logically put in their minds we need to go our separate ways because we had a disagreement and then i in my mind began to look back and wonder how many times you stayed in relationship with knuckleheads who not only disagreed with you but probably put knots upside your head but you stayed in that relationship but in a marriage, let there be two people in the church and boy, you, you, you boil the coffee too hot and uh, for that I'm getting a divorce. 
But then you wore, you went to work with shades on because your boyfriend had given you blackened eyes, but you stayed in that relationship till somebody else had to pull you out. It doesn't make sense, but that's what the devil does. He distorts people's mentality about life. Make you think that you can't take something in marriage that is very minor, but in the world, when you were in a, a, a monumental, tumultuous situation, you were able to handle that and you stayed where you were. But it's amazing how that when people get in the church, they can't take nothing. But in the world, you took everything and, and the devil couldn't knock you down enough times without you getting up and getting back in the same situation. But in the church, somebody step on your toes, I'm ready to go. The devil had signatures written all over that. You see, you got to understand what's happening. It is the devil trying to destroy families because he understands that strong marriages make strong families. Strong families make strong churches. Strong churches make strong communities. Strong communities make strong cities. Strong cities make strong states. Strong states make strong nations. When you have a strong, when you have strong nations, then you have a strong world. But it all began way back with the married couple and the family. And that's what he's targeting, not just now. He's been targeting these things many years down the road, in the future and in our past. So we have to understand that God has warned us that these things were going to happen. There's going to be some times when mother against son and son against mother, father against daughter and daughter against father, husband against wife. He warned us that these things are going to happen, but it doesn't have to be us. We all disagree at times, but just because we disagree doesn't mean we have to fall out. Just because husband and wife have a disagreement doesn't mean that we have to divorce. Doesn't mean we can't get along because nobody sees the same thing the way everybody sees it all the time. None of us are so uh, 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 together as far as how we think that you can find anybody that thinks exactly like you think. So because we're different, there'll be some disagreement, but that doesn't mean we have to fall out. That doesn't mean we have to give up on one another. That doesn't mean that we can't stay married because we had a disagreement in our marriage. But the devil knows that his biggest, the biggest threat to destroying his kingdom and keeping him from building his kingdom is a strong family or strong families. He understand that. One of my favorite quotes about the family says this, Quite simply, family because two people fell in love. That's why the family got started. And that's what the quote says, family because two people fell in love. That's how the family started with the mother and the father being in love. And they went on to produce children that helped made the family. But at the core of every family, at the head of every family, for it to be successful, there has to be God. He has to be the focus of your family, of your marriage. It has to be God if it's going to be successful. It has to be God. But the devil is out to destroy strong husbands because he know and wife because he know a strong husband and wife build strong families so he's attacking marriages like never before and that's what the devil's job is to do now i did some research about marriage because i was concerned about an idea in time how marriage is under attack and it was amazing it was not only amazing it was shocking not only shocking, it was disturbing at some of the statistical result 